a lot of interesting small items in the uh, toolbox here. Here's where the rotary files are. Three for ten dollars. They're solid carbide. Use them in a die grinder. Quite nice for doing very small machining operations. More 20 millimeters, 50 caliber, 40 millimeters. French art. 20 millimeter, some uh, parachute flares. More 30 millimeter. There's a 30 millimeter bunker buster round. It's got a big tungsten slug in it. 40 millimeter fuses, trench art, whistling booby trap, an azimuth instrument, other firing mechanism, 37 millimeter projectiles, more 30 millimeter, some more trench art, 14.5 millimeter projectiles, cutaway sections of stuff, trench art, white phosphorus grenade, M34. Another projectile nose section for 8 inch. 81 millimeter mortar projectile. Uh, 60 millimeter white phosphorus round. Fuses for 81 millimeter illuminating round. 60 millimeter mortar fuses. Here's pistol barrels, more pistol barrels. Virginia Dragoon for 44 Magnum and 357 Magnum revolver. Uh, Douglas. Rifle barrel, stainless steel, I guess. More 20 millimeter. Here's a Army Radiac. That's a radiation detector. Fairly sophisticated one. Much better than the Civil Defense Geiger counters you get. There's the back of it. There's the control panel. It runs on a D cell battery, and there's the readout. That's mainly for personnel and vehicle contamination check. There's some more trench art. 20 millimeter, 50 caliber, um, cargo projectiles for uh, 50 caliber. There's some uh, Mark 19 projectiles for your Mark 19 40 millimeter machine gun. 40 millimeter fuses, uh, splatter tracer projectiles, 40 millimeter clips, uh, some more cutaway items, uh, more 20 millimeter. And here we have some cannon barrels, what we have left, we sold a number. Here's a 20 millimeter uh, Vulcan cannon barrel. Here's one of those RPG-7 rockets, dummy. Here's a, a 20 millimeter barrel for an M39 Air Force aircraft cannon. It's a revolver cannon. And then here's a barrel for a uh, 30 millimeter Gao 8 7 barrel Gatling gun. The barrel's, I think, close to eight feet long. And you can take one of these, and if you file the proper paperwork, you can make a cannon out of it. And the ammunition's available. So let's take a, a quick overview of what we've got here at Knob Creek at Springfield Arsenal Table. Let's walk down and around the whole thing one time. You can hear them doing a little shooting in the background. They shoot all weekend. Uh, hundreds of thousands of rounds, really. I think that's a 50 caliber HBM2 that's firing. It has a very distinctive sound and rate of fire that you can pick up easily from the smaller weapon. And take a look down at the uh, all the stuff and you can see some happy customers here looking at our stuff you know of course the looks on their faces which we won't show are that of incredulity at the low prices and high quality of the merchandise that we have their mouths are hanging open they're almost tearing their pants off getting their wallets out trying to buy stuff here so, uh, yeah, something to remember <laughs> That's the stuff.